We begin at Old Trafford for what might be termed a classical fixture between two of the all-time greats of English soccer, Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur. Not surprisingly, it attracted the largest crowd of the day and our cameras. Your commentator, John Watson. Some first division fixtures have a special ring about them. And down the years, Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur have been involved in some classic encounters. Brian Robson made his United debut against Tottenham after becoming Britain's most expensive footballer. And now, after taking over from the injured Ray Wilkins as United captain, he's poised to replace him as England leader in Salonika next Wednesday. United field the 11, which drew at Bradford in the Milk Cup, but the selection of Frank McGarvey as substitute reflects the lean spell which the two strikers, Stapleton and Whiteside, are going through. Number five, Paul McGrath, now makes his league debut. He was signed from St. Patrick's Athletic in Dublin, but he shares the same birthplace, Ealing in West London, as the Spurs captain, Steve Perryman, who today switches back to his old midfield position. That's because Ricky Villar and Nick Hazard are both injured, and although Gary O'Reilly wears the number four shirt, he'll be playing at right back. And the referee this afternoon is Colin Seal from Carlisle. A testing time for both teams, this. Manchester United have won only one of their last seven league games. Spurs have lost their last two. Norman Whiteside, Arnold Muren. And now McQueen. Rumi Moses, a nice first touch to Duxbury. Over goes John Lacey. And then Gary Mabbott. And that was McGrath. Brooks back to Houghton. Perryman on to Hoddle. Mabbott. O'Reilly. In the way, Orbiston. Here's Murin. Came off him to Whiteside. Gary Brook. Came off Robson, so McQueen had to save it. O'Reilly with the throw for Spurs. Hoddle. Miller. Hoddle looks for Crooks. McGrath is up with him. Lacey. Good ball to Gary Brook. And he wins the corner of Orbiston. Lacey's gone almost on the goal line. And Lacey up with a crowd of United players. O'Reilly, his hoddle, turned in. Archibald! Possible offside there, I would have thought. Archibald and Crooks edging forward as Hoddle chipped the ball back in. And referee and linesman in accord. That's McQueen, McGrath. Well played to Robson. But Brook got back, Stapleton. Muren, good running from midfield by United, and they're onside. Stapleton, couple coming in from the far side of the area. The ball too high for Moses, perfect for Clements. Here's Gary Brook. Fine effort. player who seems to have got better as the season has gone on and now it's Duxbury well, well played by him that pass two beautifully and Duxbury shoots and has been one of the most improved players in the first division this season Mike Duxbury settled down so well at right back and not afraid to come forward like that and take on opponents looks for Crooks, beautiful ball, Crooks is in here, fine save by Gary Bailey, 
completing a quite brilliant move. Glenn Hoddle's ball through was a delight. It cleared the head of centre-half Padra. A little bit of an experience there, perhaps. Crooks was in. Good effort with the left foot, and how well Gary Bailey reacted. Lacey at the near post, beaten by McQueen. And Brook had to go almost <laughs> into the Manchester United attacking position there to do that. Hoddle again looks for Crooks. Here's Perryman. And now Hoddle. And now Brook. A little deflection on the shots, possibly off Watson who fell in front of Brook. Orbiston. Right side, Stapleton in the centre unmarked. Clements now forced to save in agile fashion from Norman Whiteside. It was a Tottenham mistake initially, but Whiteside prepared to try a first time shot when Stapleton was square of him. He could never have seen him from that angle, and Clements turned it round. Glenn Hoddle with the header. And in goes Robson, and this is Stapleton. Clements again. The goalkeepers call into action. It's vicious that, and away by Hewton. Superb corner by Arnold Muir, and they can bend the ball marvelously well. In it goes again. And the header this time, a poor one by Stapleton. The overseas players, not to say the English players can't do it, but they really do put some swerve on the ball and pace as well with corners like that from Muren. so far apart from that three very good smart pieces of goalkeeper two by Ray Clements on either side of his goal and one at the other end by Gary Bailey Moses Stapleton and Koppel had pulled away Muren Arnold Muren scores his first League goal for Manchester United. The only other one was a league cup tie, a milk cup tie at Bournemouth. But how well he took that. And what a good move by United. Stapleton attacked on the right. He got the cross in. Cobble was so timely and so intelligent with the touchback. And Muren, well on his left foot, he knows where to put those. So, 23 minutes gone. Manchester United won. Spurs nil. And now Muren has just caught Gary Brook. But Muren, who perhaps hasn't yet hit the consistent peak that we were used to at Ipswich, will gain some confidence from that. Stapleton pulled away nicely 
from Lacey there, and he's got Manchester United moving down the right. Mike Duxbury having a good match. And he's found Muren. And Robson! Well, Muren supplied the cross. Robson the header, but the man who's impressed me in this opening half hour for Manchester United, number two, Mike Duxbury, played in the England under-21 European final against West Germany and scored and playing really well here. That came off McGrath. Then it was McQueen. McGrath again, looks for Puppet. Here's Stapleton. Right side to Moses, now it's Muren. Augustin. And O'Reilly with the challenge, corner. Augustin, McGrath. Right side's coming in, McQueen! No, there was a foul just before he got the shot in. But McQueen's instant shot. A little smile on his face because he doesn't hit too many with his uh, right foot. And uh, young Paul McGrath playing his part in the move too. Mabbott. Crooks on the left, Archibald in the centre. Bottle in support, but Brian Robson so quick to read it and to give it and to get it back to spread it as well. Augustine. And is he offside? Apparently not. It's right side. And Moses was coming in. And the header went just wide. And Spurs looking vain to the linesman. They felt that right side was offside when the ball was played to him. He kept the flag down. Right side got the ball across. And it was Remy Moses who had the header which went away. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Oh, well played by Robson. Stapleton is out right. And away by Houghton. Hurriedly, it had to be. As other players came in behind him. White side! The near post corner, how often it works. Generous applause for Manchester United at half-time. They've won the battle in the middle of the field, which is where it so often counts. Glenn Hoddle perhaps not yet finding his true range, having only just come back from injury. But Brian Robson seems in good fettle with the England match in prospect. And the goal by which Manchester United lead was scored by Arnold Muren. Well, Spurs may have scored four goals away from home in the Milk Cup at Gillingham, but they've only scored a total of four away from home in the first division this season. And they're going to have to do something about that rather disappointing record to get anything out of this match. As O'Reilly. Perryman to Hoddle. Brook, back again to Hoddle. O'Reilly, Spurs with plenty of players forward in this attack. One of them being Crooks with the flick. McGrath with the clearance, then Robson. Now if United get the ball out left, which they have done, Stapleton is away. Put there by Muren. And three players coming up in support in the centre. Robson was there. And he's playing with such an appetite, as though the probability of the England captaincy has galvanised him now. Already United's top goal scorer this season with five, and it could have been more because Stapleton got down the left and Robson arrived at just the right moment. Now, white side for United. Popple. Robson. 
Good play again, spreading it really wide. Orbiston, Stapleton, and Orbiston will come through again. Robson, Murin. Oh, and Robson caught. It was a stamped in sort of tackle. And the referee speaking to Steve Perryman. That has been quite a contest, but he was certainly stamping in and he's been booked. And Gordon McQueen offside, flag is up on the far side. Good turn by Archibald, but uh, Moses was in the way. And uh, O'Reilly comes charging through for Spurs. Hoddle to his right. Made him check. They've still got forward. Crooks wins it back. Now then, Crooks for Spurs. Poor finish, really when you think of how well he'd done to get into that position. O'Reilly made the first charge. The attack seemed to have lost its momentum. Crooks won the ball back and then didn't get in a good shot at all. Crooks. Ah, it was Hewton looking for Crooks on the chase. McQueen, Archibald! But for a minute it looked like Archibald's ball there. And, uh, a little bit of uh, tussle between Hewton and Whiteside, but here's Archibald. McGrath with the tackle. Hoddle. This is definitely Spurs' best period of the match. Brook. Hoddle. Uh, Murin that found Stapleton. Moses. Duxbury. He's going to have a go at Mabbitt here. Stapleton in the centre, so is Whiteside. Whiteside! From well inside the six yard box, he skied it. What a fine run by Duxbury, who was stretched to get to the ball to start with, but took on Habit for pace. And that sort of cross is normally a forward's delight. It was pulled clear of the defence. It was inside the six-yard box. But sometimes when you take them first time, they just fly over the top. It's Tottenham press with Hoddle. Crooks over on the right. Four in the middle. And Steve Perriman. Doesn't get many headers at goal. But his position there, unmarked and onside, is an indication of just how slack Manchester United have become after having the game, it seemed, well in control until early in the second half. About five minutes left. The game still delicately balanced in Manchester United's favour. Here's Koppel. Now he's away from Hoddle, who took him. Glenn Hoddle with a foul, which means the referee will have to do something. Whether it will be just a booking, we shall have to see. Was he in a goal-scoring position, Steve Koppel? The Northern crowd baying at the referee. But I fancy he may decide that Hoddle's tackle did not necessarily deprive Manchester United of a goal. Well, so much depending now on whether United can clinch the second. This is Whiteside. Stapleton. Oh, Koppel and Robson in each other's way. Arthur Orbiston. Well, on the topic of referees, there will be more debate here in that people will say last week Glenn Keeley was sent off. 
on our programme and there Glenn Hoddle wasn't. The difference, if there is a difference, is that Dalgleish last week was clean through around the penalty area and this week, when Hoddle made his challenge, his opponent was nowhere near as far forward. This is Miller. Mabbott's header in. Archibald, here's Mabbott! Good chance. Tottenham have made a couple of good chances. These matches, well, all matches at Old Trafford, well supported always. Just under 48,000 to see Manchester United play Spurs. Here's Robson. Hoppel again. And Stapleton, no. Comes out again to Muren McQueen. And Muren lifts one in. And goodness me. Brian Robson in this match has shown why many people believe he should be the next England captain. He's defending one minute, then he's in midfield, and then he's striking at goal. And now Whiteside. And Orbiston. And Whiteside. Did well. Pulled it back for Robson to shoot. Deflection. Corner. Well, it's an exciting finish here. Most of the activity in the Tottenham penalty area. Away by Miller. Back in for Stapleton and Whiteside. Here's Moses. Here's Koppel. Here's Muren. And Stapleton. Oh, it dropped in front of Moses and out when Spurs weren't marking very well in the first place. Three points for Manchester United, very welcome. Only their second win in eight First Division matches. Spurs themselves now are in a sticky patch. Today, perhaps Manchester United, certainly in the first half, that little bit better in the middle of the field. Spurs making a good battle of it towards the end, but they've only scored four times away from home in the First Division this season and that would appear at the moment to be their biggest problem. Manchester United 1, Tottenham 0, as always, a boisterous game with plenty of talking points, and Brian Robson going off now, it would seem, to lead England.